Good morning, Trinidad and Tobago, and welcome to The Bosch Report. Well, today we're just going to get you caught up on some news that would have taken place or some events that would have taken place in the past week over local markets, as well as some upcoming events for this week. And we review the full-year financial results of Massey Holdings Limited, who did put in a, a quite commendable performance in terms of an increase in earnings. Let's turn first to the news. And over the past week, well, local indices were broadly positive. The Trinidad and Tobago Composite was up just around 0.7%, bouncing back from that decline in the prior week. The Oil Trinidad and Tobago Index was also up just around 0.5%, and the cross-listed index was up 0.9%, despite Jamaica, the, or the main index in Jamaica, being down just around 0.2% over the past week. In terms of notable items for, for the week up, upcoming, AGMs, or annual general meetings, NCB is having theirs on January 31st, and Agostini Limited is actually hosting their annual gener, uh, general meeting today at 10 a.m. at the Hilton. Uh, with respect to some other notable items, Sajiko, or new Sajiko rather, would have announced and their, their debt tender offer would have expired last week where they would have had to mandatorily put in an offer to repurchase an outstanding debt at a price of $101 per $100 face value. That would have expired, not too much uh, take up by investors, of course, because the bonds are in fact trading higher in international markets. Upcoming dividend payments include Agostini, which is pay payable today, 54 cents per share. And last week, the Clico Investment Fund, or CIF, would have declared a dividend of just about 69 cents per unit, and that's going to be paid on February 21st, uh, so just about a month's time, or just less than a month's time, and it goes ex -div actually tomorrow. Uh, Grace Kennedy also would have announced the acquisition of Key Insurance Company Limited out of Jamaica. Now they would have already owned a 15% stake in the company and they intend to take not more than an 80% stake in it so that Key Insurance uh, Company Limited would remain listed on the junior stock exchange over in Jamaica. Turning quickly to Massey and for its full year financials, well, a good story to tell, reported earnings per share was just around $5.76, which was a nice improvement of 8.3% over that $5.32 recorded in the prior comparable period. Now, revenues were up just around 0.4% from $11.9 to $11.96 billion or thereabouts. Operating profits, however, did increase around 7.3% from that $795 million level to $853.3 million. So indeed, some improved efficiencies there uh, being manifested in results. Now, overall profit before taxes were up just around 5.2% from 874 to 920 odd million dollars, and profits for the period did increase that 8.4% from 565 odd million to 613 million dollars. Now, in terms of profit by segment, no major changes here. Integrated retail grew just about 2% and remains the largest contributor in green to profit before taxes for Massey, uh, well, the group. Energy and industrial gases actually fell from 251 to 241 million uh, on account of some one-off uh, items that would have impacted earnings. And we see that autom automotive and industrial equipment actually improved from 156 to 167 million. Um, some one-off gains actually impacted the ITC segment, increasing from 174 to 207. And financial services took a hit, falling from 112 million in PBT to 105 million on account of some write-offs related, or claims rather, related to Hurricane Dorian in the past financial year. Now, the developing story, which is a good one, has been a trend of improving margins by Massey. And we can see that since fiscal 2017, those margins, both profit before tax and profit after tax, have had a general upward trend over into fiscal 2018 and fiscal 2019. So a nice upward trend there. Profit after tax, for example, by the green line, increasing from 3.2% in 2017 to 4.7% in its most recently concluded year. By geography, well, one of the more notable items is that Guyana has a growing, in, a growing significance in Massey's profit before taxes overall, growing from 14.2% of PBT in 2018 to 17.2% in 2019. Trinidad has had a slightly waning significance, falling from 49.3% to 48.4%. So, at a price of $61.51, we are maintaining our buy rating on Massey with a price to earnings ratio of 10.7 times, which is below the sector of 14.1 times, and a fairly attractive dividend yield of 3.7%, which is above the sector average of 3%. 
So again, the rating rationale for maintaining that by attractive valuations, expansion initiatives, particularly into growing regions such as Guyana, the operationalization of certain strategic assets, including its CGCL plant, which is expected to come on stream in 2020, and that story of improving margins. So again, we maintain that by rating on Massey. Well, that's it for this week. For more information, you can give us a call at 2 boss or 226-8773. Email us at invest at bossfinancial.com or check out our website at bossinvestment.com. Have yourselves a great investing week. This has been The Boss Report.